4,000 years ago, a meteor storm struck Earth. Now scientists in Argentina have found something epic. The tale of a 4,000-year-old meteor shower that occurred over what is now Argentina had been passed down by the native inhabitants of that country from generation to generation. But it wasn't until recently that scientists discovered one of the remarkable secrets that the celestial event had, in fact, left behind. On September 10, 2016, a meteorite was discovered in the province of Chaco, Argentina, which is some 670 miles northwest of the country's capital, Buenos Aires. The space rock was found 16 feet below the ground. However, it soon became apparent that this was no ordinary discovery. As Mario Vesconi, the head of Chaco's Astronomy Association, explained to journalists, the meteor's sheer size and weight was surprising. Extracting the meteorite was therefore not going to be easy. What's more, because of the shallow water table in the area, Groundwater quickly flooded the excavation site and threatened to fully submerge the out-of-this-world discovery. In fact, it was only when officials from Gancito, a nearby town, lent the research team machinery that the meteorite could be pulled in from its millennia-old resting place. The grateful scientists subsequently named the meteorite Gancito. When they finally weighed it, the scientists were astonished to discover that Gancito's mass was around 33 tons. While we'd hoped for weights above what had been registered, we did not expect it to exceed 30 tons, Vesconi explained to the Xinhua news agency. The huge weight, if it is indeed correct, makes Gansito the second biggest meteorite ever discovered. The largest, incidentally, is the 80,000-year-old 73-ton mega-meteorite Hoba, which was found in Namibia in 1920. Much like Hoba, though, Gansito is composed of 92.6% iron and 6.7% nickel. In fact, before Iron Age smelting was developed, meteorites, albeit much smaller ones than Gansito, were the main source of iron for our distant ancestors. The latest find, however, hasn't been without controversy. For instance, some claim that another meteorite, El Chaco, which was discovered in the same area in 1980, is larger than the newly discovered Gansito. But even El Chaco's weight has been disputed. Indeed, some sources claim that it weighs 37 tons, while others say it weighs in around 30. Still, whatever the case, Argentina can now claim to possess the planet's second and third biggest meteorites. And what is also clear is that both space rocks came from the same Campo del Silo, or Field of Heaven meteor shower that hit Chaco around 4,000 years ago. Interestingly, this no-doubt spectacular event deposited space matter over some 520 square miles. This resulted in the creation of more than 40 craters, the biggest of which is 45 feet deep and 260 feet across. They're particularly unusual, owing to the low angles at which the meteorites struck the Earth's surface. The celestial shower is believed to have originated from a single 600-ton meteor and scientists believe that while half of it burned up during its 8,700 mile per hour entry into the atmosphere, the rest separated into smaller meteorites. It must have been quite the sight for the native inhabitants of the area, whose meteor shower stories were then passed down the generations for thousands of years. It wasn't until the Spanish arrived in South America, however, that their tales were investigated and documented. In fact, in 1576, a Spanish government official sent an expedition force to explore the impact site. Captain de Miravel, who led the party, brought back large iron samples from what he called Maison de Fierro, or Large Table of Iron. Then, in the 19th century, the impact site was explored in detail, and ever since, scientists have discovered meteorites of all shapes and sizes, from ones weighing just a few pounds to behemoths like Gansito. The attention has meant that some of Campo de Cielo's meteorites have been taken by tourists and meteorite traffickers. Amazingly, in 1992, American meteorite trader Robert Hagg even tried to remove the colossal El Chaco before he was stopped by Argentine authorities. Had Hagg's smuggling mission succeeded, he may well have made millions of dollars. Gancito, for example, is estimated to be worth somewhere between $10 million and $12 million. Naturally then, Vesconi and his research team are planning to stay at the Gansito site in case other, similarly sized meteorites can be uncovered. Their presence may also deter other traffickers buoyed by Gansito's discovery. After all, only around a third of Campo de Cielo's 300 tons of meteorites have been retrieved, 
Will Vesconi and co. find more? We can only hope so. Who knows, perhaps their next find will be even larger than Hoba. Please share this video with your friends below.